Hey guys, 32 Tales here, and today I'm going to be doing a plugin tutorial or review showcase slash type thing um, on the plugin called Other Drops. So, this is on my little test server here. You'll notice that as I destroy the dirt here, oh wait, wait sorry, switch back to survival. Okay, as I destroy the dirt, uh, you see a message in the bottom left hand corner. It says, Dirt gives a lot of experience. And you'll also see that my experience bar, which was empty, now has experience in it. Uh, let's keep digging. Let's see what else. Oh, there's more experience, more experience. Okay, so I'm just getting, see, I'm getting dirt and I'm getting experience, right? There, I've made it to one level. Now, if I pull out my shovel, which, you know, obviously is going to do a better job of digging dirt than, um, than my hand, uh, let's give it a shot with this thing now. Oh, look. I'm getting diamonds. And you'll also see in the bottom left hand corner again. It says, Drake has a lot of experience, so my experience bar is going up, and a diamond in the rough. And I've collected 27 diamonds from destroying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 pieces of dirt that were right here. And I already destroyed the outside, so that's 16. So 16 pieces of dirt. I got uh, up to level 1 in experience, and I have 27 diamonds. Now you're probably wondering, how is this possible? Well, it is all thanks to a fantastic plugin. Uh, called other drops. So uh, now that I've shown you a little bit of what this plugin can do, uh, let's take a look at the steps for what you need to do to get this plugin on your server and how to configure it. So I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, guys. So I'm on the bucket page. Uh, the link is right here dev.bucket.org slash bucket plugins other drops anyways you can just search for other drops on bucket uh, you come to this page the owner or the author is Zarius T and a bunch of other people down there too anyway so you're going to want to come to this page now there's a couple things that you should uh, take note of uh, like don't close this page because you're going to want to come back to it uh, one is right here getting started tutorials these this these links are going to be your best friends like they have so much information that you can use. I mean, this plugin itself is so customizable. You can do amazing things with this. Uh, this just talks about the core features, um, conditions for multi-world. You can do like different worlds and things like that. Super rare drops, different tools, lore, um, cooldowns, things like that. Um, this also talks about actions. So whether or not you are uh, have actions alongside the drop, want different to consume different items, things like this. Um, anyways, these are where you're gonna find all your information. So, to get started, let's uh, click download over here and download. So this is 2.7.1 uh, for Minecraft or for Craft Bucket actually, 1.7. Okay, so we have our other drops here, and now let me pull open. This is my test server, so we're gonna. Uh, drag this into here. So open file, show folder. Okay, so we're gonna take this. We're gonna put it in there. Okay. So now this is a zip file. So this is the other drops that I had on mine. But what you're gonna do is in your zip file, there's actually going to be the other drops folder, which has the events includes config and the drops and the jar. Now normally like other plugins will have the jar like create those files for you, but this one has the folder right there, the default folder right there. So what you want to do is just take those out and uh, drag it into your plugins folder. So I'm going to delete that one since I already have it. And we'll go into the config and take a look. Okay, so other jobs, other jobs, config.yml. And I'm using notepad++. Okay, so through the config. Verbosity is the first thing. It says set this to low to reduce the number of boot messages or to high, highest extreme for more debugging info. So I set mine on low because um, I haven't really had any trouble with boot messages and stuff, so I'm going to keep those down. I'm assuming that if I wanted to debug it, you know, as it says here, then you would set it to extreme, but I'm okay right now, so I'm not going to. Uh, number of decimal places to run money drops off to because you can, if you use an economy plugin such as Essentials um, or Bose Economy or something like that, uh, you can have mobs or things that you kill or blocks drop money and give it to the player. So I set mine to zero because I want it to just be in whole numbers, so like five, six, seven, that kind of stuff, not like 2.3 or 2.58 or something like that. Uh, this one is disable anonymous logging, set this true if you get older, if you get errors, which I haven't, so 
I'm just leaving it as false. And this one is restore standard config include files if they're deleted. That was uh, these these things right here. So these are the include files and the config is what we're looking at. Okay, so enchantments. Uh, ignore level, allow enchantments to ignore start and or max level, which is basically like unsafe enchantments, which a bunch of, I mean, like you can configure that in essentials as well. But this one allows you to put unsafe enchantments on items that mobs drop. So I set those to true because I'll probably be doing something with that um, in the future. Custom drops for explosions. This is if you have like dirt that drops diamonds, instead of just with a stone shovel, if you wanted to do it like all the time. You could set that, and this would be so that if TNT or creepers blow up, it'll still drop those as well. If you don't set this to true, if they blow them up, it'll just drop dirt. So, uh, yeah, so if you want diamonds, set this to true. So this to false, if you want items to drop as a single stack, or um, like lapis drops from lapis ore. So I set this to true, because I wanted them to drop as multiple stacks. Uh, next thing is disable XP on non-default. This is if you want XP drops for when you're talking about mob drops. Uh, if you want XP to drop from default files, like how much XP gets dropped, or if you want to configure it yourself. So I set it to true so I can uh, make my own XP for mobs. Uh, allow any replacement block. I set this to false because you don't want to put you don't want to put a replacement block as like an item because then the game is going to crash, as it says. So I would just be careful with that if you set it to true. Uh, send custom block break to MCMMO. This is if you have MCMMO, which I don't. Um, you can tell it to send the events for block breaks to MCMMO because otherwise it won't recognize it. Uh, override defaults, this is just the default like Minecraft uh, um, for money, XP, loot, all that stuff. This is saying override those so uh, other drops will take control. Override explosion cap, um, I said that's the false because uh, if you have too much, too large of an explosion it, it, it will crash your server so be careful with that. Um, action radius, that's for like potions and stuff, like how big of a radius do you want. Color logs, um, that's again for the console, I believe. Uh, other drops will stop spawning new mobs, this is for custom spawn limit. Um, 300 is what the default is, so I just left it as that. Time and date format, that's the same default, don't need to change that. So, Okay, so that's the config. So now let's go to the other drops, drops folder, or file, actually. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. So, in the includes folder, which is right here again, you'll notice it says die wall, OD fix on droppables, OD gold tools basic, OD gold tools smelt, all that stuff. And you'll notice over here, so OD gold tools basic, um, OD gold tools smelt, those things, they match up with those files. Uh, this is, th these are drop files, like pre configured um, custom drop files. And so, and it gives little descriptions here. So it says, make glass, bookshelf, boat, and stairs drops. Uh, allow gold tools the chance to get ice, glowstone, and grass. Such as, like, if you had a... Oh, what's the enchantment? Silk touch. There we go. Sorry. So, like, if you had silk touch, it would turn gold tools into basically, like, silk, silk touch things. Anyways, these are all, like, pre-configured. You can play around with them. Um, read through them over here after I explain what the drops do. And you can also make your own. So this is just my custom file one. Uh, you could name whatever you want, put it in here, make it a YAML file, and then pop it into the, your drops fo your drops file here, and it will recognize it as long as your like all your syntax is good. Okay, aliases uh, and defaults. I'm not sure what those are for, so I'm ignoring those. Uh, I don't think they're incredibly important. And um, this one says advanced customization for aliases, which I'm not doing that. So. Okay, other drops here. Your changes here, you can you can make a new file and put it as a custom file up here. Or you can just specify everything down here. So I chose to just do some simple things down here. So glass, for instance, if I had glass, which I'll show you in a second, um, it will drop glowstone dust and glass, which means that instead of destroying the glass, you actually get your glass back, and it will drop glowstone dust. And this is like all the time. So. Uh, grass, which is the um, block ID 2, not 3. So this is the one that has like the green on top, not just dirt. Um, grass, I said drop dirt, um, obviously, and drop XP slash 2. And that means drop 2 XP, basically. And so that's the, that's the Minecraft XP. And then also say a message, dirt gives a lot of experience. And since I didn't put a chance, which is like on the zombie down here, it says chance 5%. Since I did not put a chance on that, it will do it all the time. So if you don't put a chance, um, know that it will do it 
all the time. So just keep that in mind. Uh, this one is drop diamond quantity two through four. So it's a range. So sometimes it'll drop two, sometimes it'll drop three or four. Um, message a diamond in the rough. And you can also use, I said NB, which is the light blue color, and then NR back to uh, reset it back to white. So that those are the color codes in Minecraft. So you can use color codes in your messages. And then tool stone spade. So stone spade, you're probably thinking, why didn't I call it a shovel? Well, I'm actually using the bucket name for the stone shovel. So in bucket, shovel is called spade. So you have to type it exactly like this, stone spade. Um, and that means that only drop diamond quantity two through four and give this message when the player uses a stone spade. So that was what I was doing. Uh, this one is zombie, and what this means is that if the when the zombie dies, not like when you hit it, but when it dies, uh, you can change it so that when you hit it, there's a thing called action. You can change it to hit. But this is when it dies. It will drop zombie flesh. There's a chance 5% because I didn't want it to drop zombie flesh all the time. And it will also drop 3 XP every time. So that is uh, for zombie. Now, you're probably wondering where did I get like the thing for dirt and glowstone, glowstone dust, zombie flesh, stone spade, and all those names. Well, if we come back to the bucket page uh, for other jobs you will see right here it says drop anything and it's a link so you want to click on that uh, click on that and it will pull up to a page it says what are valid drops what are um, you can have multiple drops and it, it provides all this information but it also does let's see items no uh, oh here we go Entity. Okay, so entity list. These are all of the possible drops that you can... These are the things that float around on the ground in Minecraft when you throw them on the floor. These are your entity lists. So, you can see all on the right, there's this whole giant list of things. Um, and, and it describes, you know, what each of these are. So, gold block, it says this is the one from the nine gold ingots. So, you don't get, like, confused with, um, like, the gold ingot, I guess. Um, iron block, double step, it has all of the metadata for the double steps and stuff like that. Lob spawners, metadata for those as well. Um, all of these. This is where you're going to get your name. So you would just copy oops, so you just copy <sighs> never mind. You would copy this. So it would say piston extension. You would put the dash down there. You'd say extension. And this tells you what it is. You would say wool, uh, piston moving piece, yellow flower, red rose, brown mushroom, red mushroom, gold block, iron block, double step, stuff like that. So this provides you with all the information you need, you need to know to um, for what to put in for the drops. Okay, so let's go back into uh, Minecraft now, and I'll show you uh, the glowstone dust, the glass, and the the zombie thing. Okay, so we're back in Minecraft now, and so I still have my diamonds and things. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to go into Creative real quick. Grab a zombie. Grab a sword. It doesn't have to be diamond, but I'm just doing that. Um, and grab some glass. Okay, so let's just pile some glass there. Uh, throw a couple of zombies down. Oh, actually, sorry. Let's make it nighttime. Stop it. Stop running. Okay, zombies there. Now I'm gonna go back into survival, and we're gonna kill the zombies. Okay, the zombies are chasing me. Uh, so here we got zombies, and watch when they die. See, he didn't drop zombie flesh. Didn't drop zombie flesh. Didn't drop zombie flesh. Didn't drop zombie flesh. Because my zombie flesh is set at 5%. Um, but you'll also notice that, so I'll type EX, or EXP set 0. That's a essentials command, not other jobs. So I have 0 XP right now. The zombie is set to give me 3 XP each time. Whoa, hello. So... There we go, and let's see how much I have. EXP 32 Tails has three experience. See? Because it gave me three experience since it was a zombie. So I'll do it again just to show you. I should have six now after this. There we go, and EXP 6. Right, okay. So now the glass. So in the config, we specified that it was going to drop glowstone and the glass block every single time. So I'm going to change it back to day so no more zombies spawn. Okay. So now when I destroy this glass, it should give me a glass block and a glowstone dust. And there we go. Glass block, glowstone dust. There we go. And there we go. See? So every time, it will give me glass block, 
I glossed on dust. Hello, zombie. And so that's pretty much the basics. I mean, you can. Um, I'll pull up the config here. So you can change this to say. If I change this to, uh, let's say iron block. So if I change this to iron block, right? And I'll, I'll leave the glowstone dust in the glass there. And I come in here, and I type O D, which stands for other drops, and then R for reset. So O D R, other drops config reloaded. Now let's go back into creative. Um, I'll pull out an iron block. There we go, and. Oh, hold on. I'm going to need a pickaxe too, of course. Now, when I break this iron block, it should give me a glass and a glowstone, which obviously makes no sense whatsoever, but it does. See? So you can literally make anything drop anything. Now, one of my favorite things to do, um, or that I was experimenting with earlier, is... So back in here, I'll take a zombie, right? And I'm going to take this out. I'm going to say drop pig okay so drop pig now I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna say define a pig I'm gonna say when you kill a pig you're going to drop a a cow cow and cow we're gonna define as drop a zombie so what happens let's go back in the game ODR for reload so what happens is when I spawn a zombie, change it to night. When I spawn a zombie and I kill it, it will spawn a pig. See? So, when I kill the pig, it will spawn a cow. And when I kill the cow, come back, it will spawn a zombie. See? So, you can literally just go in a circle with this thing. It's really fun, and it's kind of funny, too. Uh, so that's how you do mob spawns as well. Um, you can make mobs drop other mobs, or drop other items, or drop anything, anyhow, as the plugin says. So, there's a lot more to experiment with. There's, uh, let's go back to the uh, bucket page. Let's see. So yeah, so like I said, there's a ton of stuff you can do. The tutorials here are a great help. Uh, customizing mob and block jobs, that's what we're doing. Um, customizing money and XP rewards if you're using an economy plugin. Customizing fishing, you can even define like whether or not uh, when something when a fish is caught or when it's not caught, um, like what it drops. Customizing mob spawns, that's, that's what we did. Um, and then for the documentation, this is an important one. Uh, you pull it up in here, this, this has all the tutorials. It also has um, basic examples. So, um, if you want to know how to throw a snowball and give someone a slowing um, potion effect when they get hit by a snowball, you can do that. You can have something where if any creature is hit by the snowball, it gives them the slow and it damages them by two. Um, you can make it so that bone meal can grow nether warts. You can make it so that uh, when you loot bonus, when you loot mobs, with, when you use a diamond sword with a loot um, enchantment on it, it will give you money. You can do it so that when you right click grass on dirt it will turn the dirt into grass like the grass block you can make special mobs um, with skeletons and stuff like that with pumpkins on their head and golden hose in their hand and visibilities and potion effects and all these kinds of stuff super creepers elemental dragons tons of things man this this plugin is amazing and if you haven't already checked it out or clicked on the link in the description for this bucket plugin you're going to want to do so right now because this is a plugin that every server should have. I mean, not just for block drops, but because it's so customizable, you can use it for basically anything. And so, uh, this is just a little showcase of other drops. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let's throw some glass on the floor, get rid of our tools, close some dust, block of iron, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.